in a stunning change. Major plans to reopen U.S. Surgeon General Adams dumps Gates' predictive contagion model. All right, so they've basically taken the contagion model and they've dumped it. And it says, in a stunning turn of events, Surgeon General Jerome Adams, hoo Jerome Adams explained in an interview on live XM radio that the coronavirus task force has effectively dumped Bill Gates, the Centers for Disease Control, and the World Health Organization predictive contagion model and is now working with the real data. Let me repeat that for you guys. For everybody that didn't hear that, for everybody that didn't hear it, I'm going to say it again. The Surgeon General... In a stunning turn of events, Surgeon General Jerome Adams explained in an interview on Live XM Radio that the Coronavirus Task Force has effectively dumped the Bill Gates Centers for Disease Control and the World Health Organization predictive contagion model and is now working with the real data. He explained on Cyrus XM, Breitbart News host Alex Marlowe that given the new data, businesses will begin to reopen as early as May, others in June. As early as May, we're already open and we're going to continue to be open. This con- this runs contrary to the out-of-fear mongering of Dr. Fauci and Bill Gates who have made a media tour threatening the public that businesses may not reopen for six months to a year or until the unless governments purchase the conveniently patented big pharma vaccinations. According to Adams, what the American people need to know is we actually have data and so we're tracking that data. Before his about face, which appears to have come as an order from the Trump administration, hoo-yah, and in consultation with the findings of Dr. Adams, the task force was working with predictive models which have been created by the Bill Gates-dominated World Health Organization and the Centers for Disease Control. Dr. Fauci's control over the CDC has been criticized in the past for its for-profit motive in the handling of ranges of illnesses from HIV to H1N1. Dude, I'm telling you guys, this is the biggest thing that's happened in, in this whole movement. We are now locked in step barrel. I mean, we, this, is, this is the biggest news. So, guys, now is the momentum. Everything that we've been saying, everything I've been saying, everything the doctor, the other doctors have been saying, the ones that have been not fear-mongering, the ones that are saying fear-mongering, stay in your houses, stay 13 feet away from yourself. That's the kind of BS that they just, I can't even, I can't even justify them because if they had any scientific integrity or if they had one freaking synapse, meaning that they were one neuron short of a synapse, they, they would have never said that because everything they were saying was just not based on science. Now, thank God, the Surgeon General, and no matter what you say about President, President Trump, he's just shown that they are moving in the right direction. So this is fantastic news for the country. It's fantastic news for the world and for the rest of the people out there that had their heads so far up, you know, you know what? Tell them that they should never, ever, ever allow themselves to be fear motivated like this. The, the truth is the truth. And to jade it with misinformation and, uh, and the hype that the, that the media has put out there and Fauci's model and Gates's model, uh, this, is, this is so exciting. So listen, guys, I'm not going to keep on belaying the point, but pass this on, pay it forward, let the world know this is happening because the Gates, CDC, Fauci model has just been dropped on its head and cracked open like a rotten egg. I'm so happy right now. Pay it forward, pass it on. Love you guys.